Hello guys, uh, it's Colton here. Uh, welcome back to Spiritual Essence, and I'm so happy to have you guys back. Today we are going to be talking about Beginner's Manifestation. Now, uh, what exactly is manifestation? Well, it is using energy to manifest our thoughts, emotions, and desires out into this physical reality. Now, how do we do that? Uh, especially, um, we are so early on in uh, my video lessons that uh, how could I possibly manifest anything? I'm here to teach you. When I first started with manifestation, I didn't know Boo either. I didn't have a teacher or nothing. I had to learn this stuff on my own. I, I had to read books on it. I had to trying an experiment for myself. I had no one to teach me what I was doing wrong or what I was doing right. I just had to find it out for myself. Now, what did I start with first? Well, I started by manifesting little things. So, we're going to start our first lesson in manifestation. So, of course, we're going to close our eyes. Okay, just close them. I'm going to keep them open for the video, but you, you close them. So, uh, we are going to begin with the energy in the center of our chest, just like we did before. And we are going to focus. We're going to focus. Keep focusing on this energetic light. Make it your favorite color and spend some time looking at the amount of detail that your mind can create to make it look the way it does. Okay, spend some time on that. Now, once you are ready, only when you are ready, make sure that you are ready. You're going to imagine the, uh, the light in the center of your chest peeling off into two separate forms of light. It may feel a little strange, you may feel like there's like a weight on both sides of your chest, a light, light weight, but you know, some form of weight. Do not panic. Now you're going to move the two pieces of light down both your arms and you're going to make them pop up in your palms, in the palms of your hand. Feel them. Do you feel it? Now. Cup your hands, just like this. Now, make the two pieces of energy meet again to conjoin. Can you feel it as a much bigger energy form in your hand? Now, from the energy in your chest, you're going to imagine rays of energy that are flowing down like currents down to your palms, making this energy ball bigger and more dense. Now, only separate your hands to about this much because we're going to work on making it dense. So just focus on the swirling energy going round and round, wrapping this ball of light in more and more energy. Now, once you can feel it getting heavier, compact it a little. In your mind, compact it. Almost like sand, wet sand. And it's still going. Once you can feel it getting heavier and heavier to where you can't uh, hold on to it, imagine this ball of light growing wings, beautiful butterfly wings. And of course, the rest of it is turning into the beautiful body with legs, it's swirly like tongue, it's eyes. Make the color of the butterfly wings any color you want. I'm going to decide to make them blue. And I'm going to make it about the size of my hand and I'm going to have it fly onto my left hand. 
Imagine it flying into your hand. I can feel its legs on my hand. And I can see it. It's just moving around in a circle, almost. I also imagine a little flower growing at the end of my hand so it can drink. It's unfurling its tongue and it's sucking out the nectar. Now once it is full, it's going to fly back into the center of your hands where it is going to disassemble and turn back into the ball of light, of colorful light. Now you are going to flatten your hands like this and you are going to imagine them separating down both your arms again and going back into your heart, into the center. Uh, you may feel a little bit uh, more dense in this area. Do not panic. It is just because we actually made the energy more dense. Um, now that is the most basic form of manifestation that I have done. This was just a manifestation of something that I desired. Um, <clears throat> manifestation can also take form uh, in spells. But we just used manifestation to create something out of energy. What, we, what I call energy organisms. So these are basically uh, creatures formed from the energy that we give off. And of course, instead of keeping them out in the, this plane of existence, I disassembled it and reformed it back into myself. So um, this is a very advanced um, type of ability to which we are now focusing on the basics right now. So keep on, uh, you don't have to make it a butterfly. You can make it practically anything that you desire. Um, and just make sure that by the uh, time you are done with it, that you make it disassemble and you... Um, absorb the energy back into yourself unless you're for sure you want whatever you created out and about now when we manifest something out of energy we want to make sure that we have the right mindset and the right uh, emotional state one rule of magic that I've learned is never perform magic when you are uh, stressed, sad, angry. These emotions can inhibit your true desires. So make sure that you are confident in what you are doing. Make sure that if you are angry or upset, that you take some time to cool off before you start something. Because uh, if I were to make something even as harmless as like a butterfly while I was like angry or upset, it might turn out to be something that's actually more sinister than I originally planned it. Right now, I'm relaxed. I'm good. I'm not angry or stressed off in, a, in any way. So, just be careful. Make sure that you got your mind right. Here is another technique, only we're not going to make anything like that this time. So here's what we are going to do. So, um, we are going to close our eyes. We're actually going to this time just use the center light and make two electrical energy currents. Cup, put your hands close like this, or sometimes some people can even do it like this, like cup their hands. And imagine the energy flowing off into this energy ball. 
You may have heard of energy balls before, psi balls they're also called. These are basically spheres of energy uh, to which we can create anything out of with our will and intent. So you're going to want to cup your hands like this. <clears throat> and now I'm going to envision, let's say... I want uh, peace and relaxation today, no stress, and also repel anything that might make me upset or angry. Just something like a guardian would do, uh, or a good friend would try to keep away from me. Now just focus on your uh, will and intent. Uh, picture in your mind while you are forming this cyball. Uh, the outcome that you want. Okay. So. Now that uh, we have this cyball with our will and intent within it. I am actually going to make the energy... I'm going to wash it over myself, bring it back into my body. And I'm going to feel the energy wash over my entire body now as if I were just dousing myself in water. Till my entire body feels this energy. Within doing this, I am now filled with an energy that um, I'm giving off myself. One, to repel stress and anger and to, um, you know, overall have an easy day. Let's say I go to work, you know, I'm going to give off that energy to have an easier day. It doesn't mean it will exactly work out exactly how you plan, but the stronger you get, the more your manifestation will take effect. So you got to keep on that. The stronger you make the cyball and the, the stronger that you fill it with your will and intent, the stronger the feeling, the more effective it will be. Now that's types of uh, self-manifestation. I will teach you more advanced ritual uh, manifestation later on uh, in the series uh, when we are doing uh, actual magical spells and rituals. Uh, being newbies in this um i don't think you guys are completely ready for that if you are um complete beginners or acolytes in these uh, if not well then of course you're ready for this but i'll show you later on one step at a time focus on the these manifestation exercises like i said practice makes perfect so, as you continue, this is basic manifestation. I will teach you uh, eventually intermediate and eventually more advanced manifestation uh, later on. But uh, until then, focus on this and um, I hope uh, your will and intent be done. Alright, that's pretty much it, guys.